What is ALS? ALS, or myotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It is characterized by progressive muscle weakness and wasting, leading to difficulty speaking, swallowing, and breathing. ALS is a progressive disease, meaning that it worsens over time. What are the symptoms? The symptoms of ALS can vary, but typically develop gradually and worsen over time. Common early symptoms include muscle weakness or stiffness, especially in the arms and legs, tripping or falling due to weakened muscles, twitching or cramping of muscles, difficulty speaking or swallowing, weakness in the tongue, face, or throat. It's important to note that not everyone with ALS will experience all of these symptoms, and the progression of the disease can vary greatly from person to person. If you suspect you may have ALS, it's important to see a doctor who can help diagnose and manage your symptoms. Environmental factor in ALS Several environmental factors have been associated with an increased risk of developing ALS, including exposure to toxins, exposure to heavy metals, pesticides, and other toxins has been linked to an increased risk of ALS. Viral infections in ALS In some cases, ALS may develop after a viral infection, but it is not clear whether the virus directly causes the disease or whether it is a result of the body's immune response to the virus. Some studies have also suggested that certain viral infections may trigger an autoimmune response, leading to the destruction of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It is important to note that while the link between viral infections and ALS is an area of active research, the vast majority of people with ALS do not have a history of viral infections, and the disease is likely caused by a complex interplay of genetic and environmental factors. Exposure to toxins in ALS Exposure to certain toxins has been linked to an increased risk of developing ALS. Some studies have suggested that exposure to heavy metals, such as lead and mercury, may increase the risk of the disease. Other studies have found an association between exposure to pesticides and an increased risk of ALS. It is important to take steps to protect your health and reduce your exposure to toxins by following recommended guidelines for safe use of pesticides, avoiding exposure to heavy metals, and reducing your exposure to other harmful substances in the environment. Toxification and genetic toxicity are important areas of study, as they can have significant impacts on human health and the environment. By focusing on the outcome of toxification and genetic toxicity, body science plays a crucial role in understanding and mitigating the effects of toxic substances and environmental factors on human health and well-being. Toxification refers to the process by which toxic substances accumulate in the body, leading to negative health effects. Genetic toxicity refers to the potential for toxic substances to damage DNA and cause genetic mutations, which can increase the risk of developing certain diseases or conditions. Genetic mutations in ALS Several genetic mutations have been linked to an increased risk of developing ALS. Some of the most well-known genetic mutations associated with ALS include SOD1 mutations, Mutations in the SOD1 gene have been linked to a small proportion of familial ALS cases. TARD-BP mutations Mutations in the TARD-BP gene have been linked to a small proportion of familial ALS cases. C9 of 72 mutations Mutations in the C9 of 72 gene are the most common cause of familial ALS, accounting for approximately 40% of cases. What is the reason cells die in ALS? In ALS, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, the nerve cells responsible for controlling muscle movement, motor neurons, gradually degenerate and die. The exact reason why these cells die is not yet fully understood, but there are several theories as to why this occurs. One theory is that the nerve cells are subjected to oxidative stress leading to the accumulation of damaged proteins that trigger the death of the cells. It is also thought that genetic mutations and environmental factors 
may interact to cause the death of motor neurons in ALS. Some studies have suggested that the abnormal accumulation of proteins within the nerve cells may trigger a destructive process that leads to the death of the cells. Finally, some studies have suggested that inflammation may play a role in the death of motor neurons in ALS. This theory is based on the observation that many people with ALS have an increased level of inflammation in the brain and spinal cord, and that anti-inflammatory drugs may help slow the progression of the disease. Heavy metals influence on ALS. Exposure to heavy metals, such as lead and mercury, has been linked to an increased risk of developing ALS, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. Some studies have suggested that exposure to heavy metals may cause oxidative stress and the accumulation of toxic substances that damage the nerve cells responsible for controlling muscle movement. What is the strategic approach of body science? At Body Science, we are a team of medical scientists. We employ a methodical and comprehensive approach to work through cellular autophagy and senescence. Two critical components of our program are evaluation of the immune system's role in neurodegenerative syndromes and restoration of areas triggering ongoing inflammation, such as gut health. We strive to understand other body systems and work towards improving overall health such as hormonal and metabolic optimization, in particular glucose and energy metabolism. Being on the forefront of neurodegenerative diseases, we are up to date with the latest clinical trials and well versed in the newest and most advanced therapies. Our clinical staff are experts at knowing how medications work and which combination of therapies work best for specific conditions. If you have any questions about our treatments and would like to get more information, please contact us at 305-9015-888 or email us at info at Thank you.